Ever wondered which countries hold the record for the oldest virgins? It's a question that may have crossed your mind, or perhaps it's a concept you've never considered. Either way, it's a fascinating dive into the intriguing world of late bloomers. Across the globe, we're seeing a trend of people waiting longer to experience their sexual debut. This isn't about a contest or a race, but rather, it's about understanding the diverse cultural, religious, and personal factors that influence this trend. For some, their sexual awakening may be delayed due to cultural norms and expectations. In societies where premarital sex is frowned upon or even forbidden, many individuals choose to remain virgins until they tie the knot. This can often lead to a later sexual debut, especially in countries where people tend to get married at an older age. Religion also plays a significant role. Many religions advocate for chastity and purity, with followers choosing to remain virgins until marriage as a part of their faith. This is not uncommon and is practiced by millions of people worldwide, further contributing to the trend of late bloomers. And let's not forget about personal reasons. For some, waiting for the right person or the right time is paramount. Others may simply not feel ready or have a desire for sexual intimacy until later in life. All these factors remind us that virgins are not a rarity. Instead, they are a significant part of our diverse global community. So, we've established that late bloomers are more common than you might think. But the question remains, which countries are leading this trend? Which nations stand out when it comes to individuals opting for a later sexual debut? Well, we're about to embark on a global journey, exploring continents and cultures and unveiling some surprising facts about the oldest virgins in the world. From the vibrant streets of Asia to the romantic corners of Europe, and from the diverse landscapes of the Americas to the rich traditions of Africa and beyond, we're set to uncover some fascinating insights. So, which countries are leading this trend of late bloomers? Stay tuned to find out. Setting the stage for our discussion is the intriguing continent of Asia. A vast tapestry of cultures, traditions, and societal norms, Asia presents a unique paradigm when it comes to late sexual debut. Let's delve into this fascinating subject, shall we? In Japan, the land of cherry blossoms and samurais, an interesting trend emerges. A significant number of young adults are delaying their first sexual experience, Factors such as societal pressure, career focus, and a changing view on relationships contribute to this phenomenon. The nation's work culture, known for its demanding hours, leaves little time for romantic pursuits. Furthermore, a growing number of Japanese youth are finding solace in virtual relationships, further pushing up the average age of losing virginity. Moving west, we arrive in South Korea, a country known for its vibrant pop culture and technological prowess. Much like its neighbor Japan, South Korea also notices a surge in late bloomers. The reasons? A fiercely competitive education system and a strong emphasis on career stability. Many South Koreans are putting their personal lives on the back burner, choosing to focus on their careers first. Next we journey to the vibrant Indian subcontinent, home to a rich tapestry of cultures and traditions. In India, the average age of sexual debut is influenced heavily by societal norms and expectations. The concept of premarital sex is still largely taboo in many parts of the country, contributing to the high average age of losing virginity. Across Asia, we see a pattern. Societal pressure, career commitments, and changing views on relationships are causing a shift in the timeline of sexual debut. It's a complex interplay of tradition and modernity, societal expectations, and personal choices. From the land of the rising sun to the vibrant Indian subcontinent, Asia sure has some late bloomers. An intriguing exploration into a facet of life that is seldom discussed, but holds a mirror to the evolving societal norms and cultural values of this vast continent. Shifting gears towards Europe, the landscape changes, but the story remains intriguing. Europe, a continent steeped in history and culture, presents yet another fascinating perspective on late sexual debut. Some of the countries here are particularly known for their late bloomers, and two such examples are Ireland and Iceland. Let's begin with Ireland, the Emerald Isle. The rich tapestry of Irish society is woven with threads of cultural conservatism and deep-rooted religious values. The influence of the Catholic Church is pervasive, shaping attitudes towards sex and relationships. The concept of abstinence, while not as prevalent as it once was, still holds sway in many parts of the country. This, coupled with a strong emphasis on family values and tradition, contributes to a later sexual debut for many Irish individuals. Now, let's journey north, to the land of fire and ice, Iceland. While the climate may be chilly, the people of Iceland are known for their warm and open attitudes. 
However, this openness doesn't necessarily translate to an early sexual debut. Iceland's comprehensive sex education programs, which emphasize informed consent and mutual respect, often encourage young people to take their time when it comes to their sexual journeys. In addition, Iceland's small population and close-knit communities can also play a part in delaying sexual debut. The potential for gossip and a lack of anonymity can lead to a more cautious approach to sexual relationships. It's also worth noting that these trends aren't just about cultural or societal norms. Factors such as education, access to healthcare and economic stability can also influence the age at which people have their sexual debut. So as we can see, the reasons behind late sexual debut in Europe are as diverse as the continent itself. From the Emerald Isle to the land of fire and ice, Europe's late bloomers have their own unique stories to tell. Crossing the Atlantic, we find ourselves in the diverse continent of the Americas. A melting pot of cultures, traditions and beliefs, the Americas offer an intriguing perspective on our exploration of late bloomers. Beginning with the United States, a nation known for its diversity and emphasis on individual freedom, we see a fascinating trend. Despite the media's constant bombardment of sexual imagery, a considerable number of Americans are choosing to delay their sexual debut. Factors contributing to this include religious beliefs, with purity pledges and the teachings of many Christian denominations advocating for abstinence until marriage. Additionally, a rising awareness of the emotional and physical implications of sex has led to a shift towards more cautious behavior among the younger generation. Venturing south we land in Brazil, the Samba Nation. Known globally for its vibrant carnivals and sensual music, it may come as a surprise that many Brazilians are also choosing to delay their first sexual encounters. This can be attributed to the strong influence of the Catholic Church, which promotes celibacy outside of marriage. Moreover, there's a growing emphasis on comprehensive sex education, which encourages informed decision-making and promotes safe sexual practices. In both countries, we see an interesting interplay between modern societal norms and traditional beliefs. The influence of media and pop culture, with its often conflicting messages about sex, adds another layer of complexity. This, coupled with the impact of religious teachings and the rise of comprehensive sex education, is contributing to a trend of delayed sexual debut. From the land of stars and stripes to the Samba Nation, the Americas have their fair share of late bloomers. As we continue to explore this global phenomenon, it becomes increasingly clear that the decision to engage in sexual activity for the first time is influenced by a multitude of factors, unique to every individual and culture. Having traversed the globe, it is clear that late sexual debut is not a localized phenomenon. From the tree-lined streets of Tokyo to the bustling city life of Rome, from the snow-capped Rockies to the sun-soaked beaches of Sydney, late bloomers are everywhere. In our journey, we've seen how this trend is prevalent in Asia, particularly in countries like Japan and South Korea. Economic instability, career-oriented mindsets, and societal pressures contribute to this late bloom. As we moved westward we found that Europe offers a different perspective. Strict cultural norms, the importance of education and evolving attitudes towards relationships and marriage are key contributors to the trend in this region. Crossing the Atlantic, we saw that the Americas also have their share of late bloomers. Here, a blend of religious beliefs, socio-economic factors, and a growing emphasis on personal development and career advancement play a significant role. But what does this all mean for our global society? Well, for starters, it's causing a shift in traditional narratives around sexuality and adulthood. People are redefining what it means to be an adult, with sexual debut no longer being a defining factor. This could lead to a more inclusive society that values individuals for who they are, rather than what they have or haven't done. On the health front, late sexual debut could potentially decrease the spread of sexually transmitted diseases and unwanted pregnancies, leading to improved public health outcomes. However, it's essential that comprehensive sex education is in place to ensure that when people do decide to become sexually active, they're informed and safe. Culturally, this trend is challenging long-standing norms and encouraging more open conversations about sexuality. It's promoting a culture where people feel free to make choices that are right for them without fear of judgment or stigma. So, whether it's a personal choice, societal pressure, or cultural norms, the world is full of late bloomers. And that's perfectly okay.